student developer here. Uh, today we're going to be learning how to apply rapid fire uh, to any game. Uh, the game I'm using is Call of Duty Black Ops and we're using Cheat Engine 7. So, let's get into it. We're going to be applying rapid fire to the shotgun, to this past 12. So let's get into it. Let's make it happen. So we're going to go ahead and attach our cheat engine to uh, To black ops. Let's do that. Spawn in. Yeah. In Call of Duty, our ammo is stored in in the value type four byte, so we're going to keep it as four byte. We know our ammo is eight, so we're going to search for eight. And let's narrow it down. Five. Two, five. So we're at uh, 59 results. So if it's indicating green, that means the address is static. Therefore, when you uh, restart the game, you can remodify the value. If it is indicating black, that means it is stat or that means that it's dynamic. Therefore, when you restart the game, the you you can't remodify the value. But um, if your game is not showing any green values, you have to do a pointer scan to to get the the base address for your ammo, or you can do an array of bytes. So uh, I know for a fact none of these values are it. So we're going to get rid of all that. Black addresses. And I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way up until I find our ammo address. So let's add these addresses here. Let's go one by one. So one of these is our address because we froze, we froze our ammo. Therefore, when we shoot, it shoots back up to five. So move that, it's not that one. It's this one, it's the one on the very bottom. So we're gonna get rid of all the addresses above it. Let's do that. See? Boom. So. All right, so let's name this uh, ammo. So, I showed you how to get unlimited ammo. This is pretty much how you get unlimited ammo. That's how you get unlimited ammo. Now I'm going to show you how to get uh, rapid fire. So what you want to do is either Control B or manually browse your man browse your memory region. So that's what. We're do. So this is already in four byte decimal. But I'm going to show you what it will look like on your screen and then show you how to change it to what you want to, how you want to view it. So when, when you, uh, first browse your memory region, it's going to show up as, as in hex. You don't want to see it in hex. So what you want to do is change your display type to four byte decimal. And here you see our ammo. That's our ammo. 100, 100. Now, what we're going to be looking for is any values that increase to a number and decrease back down to zero. So let's make it happen. So as you can see, we have some some values that are increasing and decreasing back down. This one here, you highlight that so you can see. 
increases and then goes back down to zero. And then we have this one here. Okay. We have this one here. We have a few, so we're going to select some. So let's add this here. I address this. Let's add this to our address list. Add this one here. Let's add this one. I don't think this one is it because when we, when we pause, it shows a different value. So this could be uh, show us the value when we pause the screen. See, we pause it, shows that. When we don't pause, it goes back to it. So that's problematic. And let's add this value. So we're going to minimize this. And let's start freezing value. So we already know that this is not our value. This is our pause screen value. So we unpause, it goes to zero, we pause, goes back to that. So we don't need that. Go ahead. Delete that. Now we're stuck with the, our last word here. So let's freeze until we find our rapid fire. Not this one. It's not this one. So it's most likely the one on the very bottom, and it is. So that is our rapid fire address. So rapid fire. So that is how you find rapid fire for any game. Um, now some games. You may not be able to modify your your ammo values like this because it, it may be stored on their servers, on their cloud servers. Therefore, whenever you change the value, it's just going to go back to the original value. Or it might not change at all. And you may get uh, instantly banned. Figured I'd throw that in there. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you this for, on another weapon, and I'll go ahead and end the video. Let's do the M16. So, the M16, as we know, it's a three round burst. And if we apply rapid fire to it, it shoots rapid. So, that's how you find rapid fire in any game. Um, this is student developer, and I'm out.